Many times in entrepreneurship, people say, what are the secrets to success? I share two things. Imagine these because they're gonna happen. One, be prepared for a lot of rejection. Whether people close the door in your face or tell you it's never gonna happen, you can't do it, you're too old, you don't have the education, you don't have what it takes, somebody else did it, don't listen to them. Don't let it affect you. The second thing is that your service or your product must be the highest quality you can possibly make it because you don't want to be in the selling business. You want a product or a service so good that you're in the reorder business, not the selling business. Someone wants to talk about it. They want to reorder. They want it to be part of their lives. Or it's so good they want to tell their people about it. Why is that relevant? Life will give you what you'll fight for. Once and for all, you can find out what you're capable of. Once and for all, you can find out if you're capable of becoming this man or woman you always dreamed about. Life's gonna give you ultimately what you'll fight for. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You can do it in your quiet way. You can do it the way you do it. But somehow they got to look at you and go, okay, I won't monkey with that one. In your life, you're going to get what you tolerate. So what's the decision? What have you been sitting on? Is it the decision to finally get serious? Is it the decision to get licensed? Is it the decision to stop worrying about what people think? Is it the decision to become a great closer? Is it the decision to get off of some drug or alcohol you're on? What's the decision? It's sitting right in front of you. You knew it when you came in here. What have you been hesitating on? What are you afraid of? Face it. Right now, what do you need to decide? Listen, the work is behind the scenes. Competition is the easy part. <laughs> Behind the scenes is where the work is done. And everything is done to, to get to that one race that you need to run. If you look at this city, the city wasn't built in a day, right? So, you know, it's a, it, it takes time to truly reach your goals and reach your potential. And through that process, you will have ups and you will definitely have downs. Um, but I think it, like that's, you know, for me, when I had my downs, that's where I was able to have the support that I had. And, and, you know, for me, always wanting to get better, always wanting to get stronger. And, and um, that process, like I said, now I can look at myself in the mirror and be happy with who I see. Nelson Mandela is a particularly special case study in the leadership world because he is universally regarded as a great leader. You can take other personalities and depending on the nation you go to, we have different opinions about other personalities. But Nelson Mandela across the world is universally regarded as a great leader. He was actually the son of a tribal chief. And he was asked one day, how did you learn to be a great leader? And he responded that he would go with his father to tribal meetings. And he remembers two things when his father would meet with other elders. One, they would always sit in a circle. And two, his father was always the last to speak. You will be told your whole life that you need to learn to listen. I would say that you need to learn to be the last to speak. Without commitment, you'll never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. It's not easy. If it was easy, there'd be no Kerry Washington. If it was easy, there'd be no Taraji Henson. P. Henson. <laughs> if it were easy, there'd be no Michael T. Williamson, no Stephen McKinley Henderson, no Russell Hornsby. If it were easy, there'd be no Denzel Washington. So, keep working, keep striving, never give up, fall down seven times, get up eight. is a greater threat to progress than hardship. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So keep moving, keep growing, keep learning. See you at work. Some lady up there asked me, said, what you going to do? I don't really know what I'm going to do. I expect, though, mm -hmm. that, it, that God got something really great in store for me. The, life is a mystery. If you take away the mystery and everything was certain, you wouldn't need faith. Mm.
Faith functions best when you don't know. Yeah. And if you knew everything, you'd have no room for faith, for discovery, mm. for innovation, because creativity comes in uncertainty. Yeah. It comes in uncertainty, in the middle of chaos, because after a while, anytime you know too much, you stop living your best self. Mm. You, 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 can yeah. anybody relate to that? You would never discover what else you were if you stayed in one place.